So in this video we're going to look at the four main plant organs which allow life processes to take place. So starting at the top of the plant we've got the flower. Now the flower is a really important organ in the plant because it contains the plant's sexual reproductive organs. To do that, in order for sexual reproduction to take place, it has to attract pollinators. So that's insects, things like bees, and they're normally doing that being being very brightly coloured and by having certain different smells. And its really vital role is for reproduction. The second thing that you can see about a plant is the leaf. Now the leaf is really really important because it's where photosynthesis takes place. So the leaves contain a pigment called chlorophyll which allows us to use light energy to convert CO2 and water into glucose which is the sugar which can be used by the plant for growth and which actually fuels pretty much the whole food chain. Also as part of the plant we have the stem. Now the stem, what that does for the plant is it holds all the different organs up so it keeps them all upright and facing the light and it also carries water and minerals to the leaves and food all around the plant so the stem is therefore really important for things like getting rid of waste substances growing and to supply that nutrition around the plant the last plant organ are the roots so the roots basically go into the ground and what they are going to do is provide some anchorage so it, it, the plant doesn't blow away or fall over and it also provides a very very large surface area to take in plant minerals and water from the soil which are needed for photosynthesis and are needed for nutrition. Thanks for watching that video please subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit www.decaffeinatedtalk.com for study tips, ideas and more.